Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Ankit Parath. I work as a consultant in pediatric pulmonology, allergy and sleep medicine at Children's Chest Clinic, New Delhi. Does your child suffer from allergies and you have a cat at home? Well, your child can be allergic to the cat. Allergies like nasal allergies, eye allergies, asthma and skin allergies can be caused by pets such as cats or dogs. As these pets are indoor, these allergens circulate inside our houses. An allergy to pets is seen world over and the symptoms are seen throughout the year. Now, how do cats lead to allergy in our children? So cats produce many types of allergen. So around nine types of proteins are produced by cats. Few of them are important. These proteins are present in the cat's saliva, in the cat's urine, and in the dead skin cells which fall off and which is called as dander. Now, when this, uh, these are excreted, they get into the environment and the cat allergen is very light and it is very sticky and it can circulate widely inside the house. Now this allergen then tries to settle down on furniture which is specially upholstered, bedding, mattresses, carpets, linen and clothes. And this can again come into the environment when you're trying to do dusting, cleaning, etc. And then this allergen can be inhaled from the nose and from the mouth, it also can get into the eyes and produce allergy reaction in some children. Now, in addition, the cat on their fur can also carry dust mites and also carry pollens from outside to inside the house, which can be an additional source of problems. Now, what are the symptoms of allergy to cats? So the allergies can be in the form of eye allergies or allergic conjunctivitis, which can have red eyes, watery eyes and itchy eyes. Mm -hmm. Children can get nasal allergies in the form of a running nose, a watery nose, a blocked nose and an itchy nose. Children also can get asthma symptoms in the form of coughing, wheezing, chest tightness and breathlessness. And occasionally, very sensitive people also can have skin problems because of the cat and cat can get skin allergies or atopic dermatitis. These symptoms could increase when you are directly in contact with your cat, you're trying to pet your cat, you're trying to play with your cat. At that time, the symptoms can be maximum. Now, how do we diagnose that a child is allergic to the pet? Well, having allergies and having a pet at home does not mean that you are allergic to your pet. Well, what does it mean? Some children can be allergic to multiple allergens. They can be allergic to dust mite, they can be allergic to cockroaches, they can be allergic to fungi, they can be allergic to pollens, but they can also be allergic to the pets. Now, we actually need to prove that the child is actually allergic to the cat because the symptoms sometimes can be similar but the cause of the problem might be other allergens and not the cat or the 
of the total allergy problem, the cat might be contributing a few percent of the problem and the rest of the allergens are causing the other part of the problem. And hence it is important to make a proper diagnosis. For making a diagnosis of cat allergy, we use allergy tests which are best done in the form of a skin prick test where we put allergens on the forearm of the child and we scratch them with a small lancet and we get the results in around 10 to 15 minutes. So that is the best investigation which is done. It can be done in any allergist clinic and it is a very safe and a very robust investigation which is used for years. The other investigation which can be used is in the form of an immunocap or a blood test or a blood allergy test which is also a good investigation. In some situations, if you are, you are still not clear whether you are actually allergic to your cat, then possibly uh, staying in a separate house for a while can, can actually let us know that if you are not in contact with your cat then and your symptoms improve significantly, then you are possibly allergic to your cat. Now, if, if it is proven that the child has a cat allergy, then what needs to be done? Well, the most obvious solution which anyone can think of is to remove the pet and find the pet a new home. But that sometimes is not easy. Your pet is a, is a member of your family. And removing a pet sometimes can lead to a lot of emotional problems to children and also to adults. Well, your allergist can work around and tell you some solutions which can reduce the amount of allergies which you are having. Giving the pet a bath every week can be helpful in removing the allergens on the, on the, on the pet's fur. But also, you, you also need to remember that once that is done, you also need to bathe yourself, including your hair and remove your clothes. Don't allow the pet in your bedrooms, especially on your bed, because that is the place where you might be spending the maximum time of the day. Try and remove carpets and upholstered furniture. Replace carpets with, with wooden flooring or tiles and try and do wet mopping of, of hard surfaces and vacuuming of carpets, if any, in furniture which is upholstered. So these are these are few measures which can really reduce your allergen exposure. Occasionally, we also recommend using air purifiers with the help of filters, which can reduce the amount of cat dander uh, because the cat allergen is, is very, very sticky and the cat allergen is very lightweight. So it can really reduce the amount of allergen which is present in the environment. The last option which can be considered in a few in a few children where you have a severe allergy and still you cannot part away with your pet is to consider something known as desensitization, also known as immunotherapy. So that can be an option in a few selected patients. So if you're having allergy symptoms, like nasal allergies, eye allergies, asthma or allergic skin and you also have a pet at home, then do get in touch with a pediatric allergist, get a proper diagnosis and, and understand the line of management so that you can enjoy a lovely life. So thank you very much and for more information you can log on to our website ankitpark.com.